Hi guys, Sandra here of Fun Playtime Reviews and today we're going to be reviewing this Barbie Fundamental Chemistry Set. So let's go ahead and get started. Elizabeth is going to be my helper today and we're going to make slime, fizz, and crystals with this set. Now let's get started and open it. After we unwrap the box, we have to take this this plastic out. But now we're gonna slide all the stuff out. Now we are done unboxing, we'll show you what's inside. Here's what's inside. Now we can all take it out. There's more stuff. And this is like more ingredients. A thing so they don't fall. Instructions, of course, so you know what you're doing. Oh, that's pretty cool. So this set includes two large test tubes, one small test tube, test tube lids, a test tube stand, measuring cups, pipettes, toy safety glasses, wooden spatulas. I don't like spatulas, they're like little like, ice cream sticks, right? Polymer slime powder, color changing putty powder, acid powder, base powder, fizzing reaction tablets, crystal feather solution, a die cut paper feather, golden putty and a sticker sheet to decorate your box and also instructions and oh yeah and instructions you do not want to make up your own recipes okay elizabeth what are we going to make first glittery slime yay first we're going to put our safety gear on first now we're ready Let's make a lot of glittery slime because we love glittery. And then it says to pour a little tiny bit more, right? Now we're putting the next batch of this in. Okay, next we're going to open the packet of slime powder using a pair of scissors. Now we we'll go ahead and pour it in. Hold in. Okay, next we're going to use the wooden spatula to mix the powder into the water. You don't want to get this on your eyes and don't bite your nails when you touch it. Why? Right? Uh, don't lick your finger. That's right. Be very careful. And then after the powder is mixed with the water, you're gonna close the test tube with the lid and shake it for 30 seconds. I don't know if I can count to 30. I think you can do it, I think you can do it. And then you're going to put the lid on the test tube. And shake it up. For how long? 30 seconds. 30 seconds, that's right. Make sure it's heavy on there. And now we can shake it up right here. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and it's done shaking it. Here's how it looks so far. Can you see the glitter? Yes. Is it pretty? Yes. Yeah. And what else do we have to do? Now we need to let leave the lid on and then let the slime sit for 15 to 20 minutes until it's solidified. And then after that, we can open it up and play with it. Well, we wait for the slime a little bit longer. I'm gonna decorate my box with these stickers. Let's decorate it.
and put it on the table. And then it's really coming out because it's solid, right? Can I touch it? You can touch it. I can just scoop it out with this thing. It's like solid. <laughs> it's peach and I like peach and I, I wanna rip this piece coming out. I guess this is slime. Okay, that is way too gooey. I just put it on the table and it might come out like right here. Like it's so slimy. Ooh, it actually makes you mold. Here's our slime. Now let's go ahead and play with it and let's scoop this off. Whoa. Actually really, it, it's like, it feels like you're just touching rubber. Whoa. Pretty fun. It just gets sticky, but we want to stick it. It's really. Whoa. It can't even go on your hands for like longer than I thought it was. It's going to be really fun to play with it. Kind of stretches on you a lot, like this. It like stretches on you. Okay, I need a napkin. I need a napkin now. This is way too gooey. And this is a really good thing you can do. Here's our first batch of slime. They worked out really good. So this is gonna be the bottom of the slime's gonna stay in. So what do you think of a slime, Elizabeth? It's really cool. But it can't really, it's like this, it's like real slime. It's like Evangelion make it. It's actually real like real slime. See, it's like so stretchy. Oh no, it's, it's like, hit me. Okay, just pour this. Put it back in if we can. I think we might need our hands now. Okay, use my hands. I get. So let's pull this out and then you have to use your hands to pull it in. Okay, I have to squish it in there. I guess as I'm just using my hands. It just makes real noise. Actually, it's actually pretty funny with your hands. <laughs> this keeps making real noise. <laughs> this keeps getting funny. Okay, mm. why don't we put the lid on and get started on our next project. Yep. Slime is actually really gooey so it can never dry out. Next we're gonna make a crystal feather and here's our feather. I'm gonna put some of this in and mom, she's gonna help me with this this time. Yes. Yep, we're gonna make a crystal feather. So we need a small test tube and the stand and then we need the packet of crystal feather solution. Okay so, mom, you can help me with this. Yeah, I'm gonna help you with that. So we're gonna cut the corner off of the crystal feather solution and then we're gonna pour it in the test tube. Then we're gonna bend always. Now put the feather solution in the test tube. Next we have to bend the feather. Mom help me bend the feather stone to put it in the water this way. So now Elizabeth, that you put the feather in the test tube, we have to wait for a number of hours and then check back to see if crystals have grown. For now, we're gonna move it to the side and then play with some more slime. <laughs> okay, you wanna play the slime again? Yeah. Yay! And we need two large test tubes, the test tube holder, water, and of course, safety gear and markers, spatula, of course, caps, two cups of water, some two packages of stuff. Yep, we need acid powder and base powder. And we have tape, scissors, two test tubes, one sander, and the food going, and wooden spatula and a marker. Wait, 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 wait. You can put the water in this one and you can put the water in that one. Now, there we go. It's like a waterfall. Good job. And now in the first test tube, we're going to add the acid powder. And in the second test tube, we're going to add the base powder. So let's do that. 
Ooh, it looks like salt. Okay, let's squeeze it to make it go in. I have to put more. And I'll just put like this inside. Now, in the meantime, Mommy said you have to mix it up. So it's, everything is mixed in with the water. You put this on the side. The first one's gonna be green for David. Yep. For my just, brother. Okay. So we're gonna put two drops one, in the acid powder solution. Two. Good job. One. And that makes me attempt it. It's really one. Well. Two. So the green solution is the acid solution, and then the red solution is the base solution. So go ahead and mix those. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Mom, it is trying red. Yeah. Okay, so now what we're going to do, Elizabeth, is we're going to pour the red solution into the green, and then we're going to see what happens. Whoa. Okay. I think I will float like pop. Was that neat? Yeah. That's actually like like that pop video we did. It looks like it explodes. Like that pop video we did. Yeah. It's actually turned black. And I'm not pointing it back in here. Wanna pour yeah. the rest? Look at this pop. Makes it fizz, right? Yes, it makes it fizz. That was a fun experience. It is very watery. Now I'm gonna go clean up this mess. Okay, so that's the Barbie Fundamental Chemistry Kit. We didn't even make all the science experiments. We made slime, fizz, and crystals but there are even more. We had fun though with everything we did do, right Elizabeth? Yeah. Thanks for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.